Hi, my name is Shelley, and today I'm going to explain a RUSH exam. Now RUSH stands for Rapid Ultrasound for Shock and Hypotension, and it's used in patients that are presenting with undifferentiated hypotension. So we're going to look at a couple of different um, areas on the body, and I'm going to start with the heart. And what we're going to do here, I've selected the um, auto preset. I'm using the C3 scanner and it's going to take us directly to the cardiac preset using the AI. What I'm looking for here is to make sure that the heart is contracting normally and in this situation we're seeing nice uh, contractility of the left ventricle, nice movement of the mitral valve. The other thing we're going to look for in this spot is pericardial effusion. I could just decrease my depth a little bit just to make sure that I'm getting the entire pericardium in there. We can have a good look by sweeping back and forth. And I'm satisfied that there's no pericardial effusion. So next I wanted to head down to the IVC. And from here we can kind of assess the right-sided heart pressures. And as well we can tell if the patient's hyper or hypovolumic. So I'm going to locate the IVC just in the midline. And it's this nice dark tubular structure that's just a little bit to the right of the midline. So what we're going to look for is, number one, the size of the IVC. We can estimate the size by using the depth markers at the side of the device. And we want this to be under two centimeters, and it's well within those limits. The other thing we want to look for is to make sure that there's respiratory variation. When the patient's breathing, we should see the IVC collapse. If it doesn't, that's an indication of increased right-sided heart pressure. And if it's flat, that means that the patient needs fluids. So from here, I'm going to head over to the right lower quadrant. We're going to have a look for free fluid. And I'm going to find the area of Morrison's pouch, indicated by the right kidney, next to the liver. While I'm here, I'm going to move up a rib space or two and image the right hemidiaphragm. And here, we're going to see if there's any pleural effusion on the right side. And I'll just do a quick little fan from top to bottom, just to make sure we're not seeing any fluid in the dependent portion of the pleural cavity. From here, we can move over to the left side and do the same thing. I'm going to look for free fluid in the region of the left kidney and the spleen. And same thing, I'm going to move up a little bit higher to the left hemidiaphragm, which is that nice bright white line, curved line, and we're going to look for any fluid in the dependent portion of that pleural cavity as well. So just a quick sweep back and forth there. Now the next thing I want to do is to rule out uh, an abdominal aortic aneurysm. So a quick way to do that is to place the scanner in transverse in the upper abdomen, midline, and just look for a pulsatile structure in the middle of the abdomen, and we're seeing the aorta right there. I'm going to slowly, with a little bit of pressure, scan down the aorta, all the while looking for any dilatation. And again, normal diameter of the aorta is under two centimeters. So I'm just continuing to scan down toward the umbilicus. Where we'll see it bifurcate into the right and left iliac arteries. And that has satisfied uh, the investigation for an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now the last thing I'm going to do is have a quick look up at the lungs looking for pneumothorax. So I'm just going to place the scanner in a sagittal plane on the lungs. I'm going to look between the rib spaces which are casting those black shadows. And we're going to look for lung sliding. If we see lung sliding, we could be confident that there's no pneumothorax in this patient. I'm just going to look from a couple of different areas, and then I'll do the same thing over on the right side of the chest. So we've completed the RUSH exam, and we've found no obvious cause for our patient to have undifferentiated hypotension.